Tanzania's biggest footballing rivalry is more than 70 years old, but it hasn't lost its fierce edge. Yanga has dominated the league in recent years, but they are not worried by talk of Simba's revival. No, look, I'm not so, <laughs> not so fast worried about all these kind of things. Look, uh, in football, you have to be uh, very much committed with each other. And uh, if it comes, it comes, and uh, it is better then it makes our team better too, because more competition makes you more capable of uh, doing things what nobody expects. But both Yanga and Simba have much bigger ambitions than merely beating each other. Historically, Tanzanian clubs have had vast followings but low revenues. The next five years, though, could be game-changing. There are now multi-million dollar investment and better TV deals, so their ambitions are even greater to become some of the biggest clubs in Africa. Tanzania's richest man is buying a controlling stake in Simba and investing millions in the club. Already new players have arrived, like Laudit Mavogo, a Burundian goalscorer. The coach says it's all about psychology. They look, the, the players are very good. Now it's a problem of mentality, the mentality of the winner, the mentality of the fighter. If we have this mentality, I think we can do many things. There is a third club hoping to spoil the party. Azam's rise may be recent, but two seasons ago they claimed the title. And with a multi-million dollar backer, they plan to disrupt Simba and Yanga's hold on the league. Whoever ends up victorious next year, there is only one certainty. None of these clubs will be happy with second place. Dan Ashby, CCTV, in Tanzania.